Hello, this is the, uh, the new well license report for July, or sorry, June 27th. Uh, this is look, comparing uh, the two previous weeks to see which direction uh, oil and gas activity is going to, uh, going in Alberta, specifically evaluating new well licenses. So we're just using the GeoPoint app uh, on the Salesforce platform and the interleague data. And what we have here is we have last week's activity and I've applied a heat map and we can see Kindersley is extremely hot. Uh, some light shading here in central Alberta. And then we look at what activity is going on in North, uh, northern Alberta. And we do a comparison uh, of what it looked like last week. So I think the biggest things that we see from a change perspective is uh, Estevan has gone down a little bit. But that's because when we look at the Kindersley area, it's gone up significantly. So uh, when this gets hotter, and then we may have the same amount of well licenses. This, this may be the same, but it's not as hot as what we have compared to uh, what's going on in the Kindersley area. The other thing that we see here uh, two weeks ago, very little activity up here north of Bonneville. So that's our crude bitumen market. So now we're starting to see from Lloyd Minster, which is really good news because that's been extremely weak up through to, uh, to Cold Lake, starting to see some activity. And again, down here in the central Alberta, we, uh, last week we saw a little bit here, or two weeks ago we saw that, last week, and now the footprint's starting to expand. So that's all very healthy. Uh, when we take a look at it from a substance perspective, we can see that uh, 73 of the wells, total amount of wells were crude oil, and we compare that to last week, and we can see that that was 71. So crudes continue to moving in the positive direction. Gas, 28 last week. This week when we look at gas, 18, so that's negative. But here's something that's also positive, crude bitumen 14. And then when we take a look at it, crude bitumen 5. So I think overall we've got some very uh, positive uh, outcomes. And then if we're looking at areas again to kind of focus on, uh, we're going to look at their board field centers and do the comparison of the uh, board field centers between the last two weeks. Uh, whoops, sorry, that's the uh, board field center. So last week when we look at it, Kindersley again, 37, extremely uh, robust. Grand Prairie 19 and uh, so that was last week this week when we look at Kindersley 22 so that looks great and then Grand Prairie 14 so down slightly on that side of it so uh, but when we look up at the Lloyd Minster area we got nine uh, last week and we look at uh, Lloyd Minster three so not a, uh, a big gain on the Lloyd Minster so actually a little bit down on that side of it but we look at Bonneville seven last week and then Bonneville last week three so uh, what we lost in Lloyd Minster, we've also gained in, uh, in Bonneville. Uh, Drayton Valley, last week 15. And then uh, when we look at Drayton Valley this week, we've got eight. So probably that's uh, one of the biggest losers that we're looking at here. So um, <clears throat> again, the hottest market right now, Gindersley uh, by far. And uh, um, so I would, uh, if I was uh, focusing or if I had products and services, I'd make sure that uh, I had been the one working a campaign there and to continuing to expand it.